After largely absorbing the bearish impact of a cooler shift in forecasts heading into the current trading week, natural gas futures rebounded early Tuesday amid signs the market remains optimistic about summer pricing. The strength of this rebound was particularly impressive since there was no obvious catalyst. Midday weather model runs were largely unchanged, and natural gas cash prices continued to decline, with Henry Hub dropping $0.03 cents to average $2.88. The weather data overnight continued to advertise a bearish pattern for this weekend through June 5, when very warm temperatures over parts of the country will be more than offset by comfortable temperatures further north. The overnight data again teased hotter conditions spreading northward out of the southern United States June 6 to 10. This time frame is finally close to hot enough to satisfy markets. However, if the pattern for the second week of June were to trend any cooler, this could lead to another round of disappointment. Meanwhile, looking ahead to Thursday's storage report from the Energy Information Administration, predictions point to the possibility of a triple-digit injection for the week ended May 21. The model is calling for a 107 billion cubic feet injection. That would eclipse the 105 billion cubic feet injection recorded for the year-ago period and exceed the five-year average build of 91 billion cubic feet. In the first four months of 2021, Natural gas fire generation in the lower 48 states averaged 3,394 gigawatt hours per day, a nearly 7% decrease from the same period in 2020. The decline in natural gas generation during the first four months of this year is the result of higher natural gas prices and increased competition from renewables, and it is the first year over year decline since 2017. The agency pointed to falling demand as the driver of the higher predicted injection for the period, modeling a 4.3 billion cubic feet per day week week decline in heating demand and only a 0.9 billion cubic feet per day week week increase in power burns. Sooner or later supply and demand comes back into the picture, and that of course is a very negative longer term for this market. After that, then we have the 50-day moving average coming into the picture at the $2.85 level, which I still believe is the target.